Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are all doing well. All right guys, you know how it has been going on the channel lately with doing demos and reviews for Stand On. A lot of you guys have asked for this one. Check it out, we got the Toro Grandstand here. We're actually hanging out with my man Rob. What's going on, brother? Hey, Brian. Awesome, awesome. So this is actually a, a new partnership that we're gonna be talking about here. He wanted to demo the Toro, uh, what do we got, Multiforce? Grandstand Multiforce, the, the 60 inch deck. The Grandstand Multiforce. Now, a lot of you guys have been leaving comments wanting to see this unit, talk uh, and weigh in on the Grandstand. Uh, so this is just a, an awesome opportunity and uh, I really appreciate Rob coming over here from the other side of the state. It takes a lot of time and resources to do this. So what we're gonna be doing is, as, as most of you guys know, I'm looking at other stand-ons in the market right now. We been doing a lot of videos trying to get you guys up to speed to show you guys what's out there the latest and greatest technology uh, Rob and I have been talking over the last few weeks and quite honestly after hearing a little bit more about the Grandstand Multiforce I said dude we got to do a video we got to check this thing out there's so much options here with uh, future expansion with this unit uh, and so many other uh, trinkets that come along with it where we wanted to do a video for you guys I'm gonna do a demo and we're gonna show you a little bit more how it is on the channel what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it over to Rob right now he's going to run through the unit give you guys the stats the details and everything in between and by the way if you guys got questions leave them down below I'd love to hear what your guys thoughts and opinions are on the Grandstand Multiforce definitely a fan favorite from a lot of uh, what you guys have been saying but uh, Rob's gonna do a walk around show you guys what they have access to and just the latest and greatest from Toro so let's check it out Rob it's all you brother all right well this is the Grandstand Multiforce the 60 inch turbo force deck okay very well received in the market right now uh, we've got a lot of expansion capabilities that I'll go through um, in a minute one of the big things that I wanted to focus on today is obviously the one thing that sets Toro apart is the turbo force deck turbo force deck is the exact same deck that we have on our Z Master lineup of commercial lawnmowers okay it is a full seven gauge construction there is not a seven 10 split like a lot of uh, decks it is full seven gauge and what that does is that gives more rigidity to the top of the deck and allows for um, less possibility of bumping into things and affecting cut quality by canting the top of the deck and the spindles okay um, next up are our spindles um, we pride ourselves on having uh, nine and three eighths inch cast iron spindles. Mm -hmm. These are maintenance free spindles. They're uh, grease free. These spindles, we have very little to no problems with them. Uh, they're very durable and um, eliminate some maintenance for uh, the everyday cutter because they're greaseless. You cool. don't have to take the time out of your day and you don't have to rely on your crew to take the time out of their day to make sure that they're greased. Okay. On this model, we have a 26 and a half horse Kohler EFI engine we took a lot of feedback in 2015 this machine was a little bit different we didn't have the actual multi-force we just had the grandstand okay which this machine besides the engine and a couple other little things is identical to its equivalent in the grandstand lineup okay um but what we found was that this engine used to be tilted 90 degrees to the front which allowed for the muffler and the exhaust to be blowing over the front of the machine sure um and made changing oil difficult so what they did is they re-engineered it they moved the engine uh, 90 degrees so now we have the exhaust uh, exiting down the right hand side of the molar and we have the ability to drop the deck all the way to its lower lowest cutting point okay and we're able to put the oil pan there we're able to change the oil and spin on oil filter very very easily gotcha um, with very little uh, very little hassle Gotcha. The other thing that sets us apart on the Turbo Force deck, um, besides this cast iron spindles and full seven gauge construction, is we have adjustable baffles. Okay. So the adjustable baffles really come into play in either the spring when you have to, sometimes people are needing double cut when it's really wet. Mm -hmm. You're able to open it up right now, it's in full open mode. Okay. So <clears throat> as you're mowing, it's going to disperse the grass uh, very widely and open. Um, and then on a double cut situation, you can close that down. And what that does is it closes a baffle down on the inside of the cutting deck that you can see right about there. Check that out. And what that does is that closes the cutting chamber down and creates um, a bit more, it's not a full mulch kit. Okay. I don't wanna say that, but what it does is it allows that grass to be processed a little bit more so you're able to eliminate clumps and, and grass laying on the top. Nice. Okay. Back here at the controls, we have the parking brake um, deck lift handle. So they're on opposite sides of the machine, so we don't get confused as to which 
handle we're pulling. Gotcha. Um, Rob's seen a few of our videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we Gotta have a good have, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we also have dual operator presence controls where a lot of um, our competition and a lot of companies have one. So you can use either or or both. Okay. Where um, if you're left-handed, a lot of times it's the right-handed uh, one that that is the operator presence control. So gotcha. Um, so is that the safety we're talking? That is the safety. Yep. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. So the other thing is you can get off this machine. It's right now it's in standard mode. So you have a versatile machine here. Okay. You can operate it as a stand-up unit, or with a simple pull of a pin, you can nice okay. wide platform. You can stand on it, and it is ISO mounted. Okay. So there is some flex and. I'm gonna flex it a lot because I'm a big guy. Um, <laughs> awesome. And if you notice on the back side of the of this, there is curvature on the sides of the platform. Gotcha. And what that allows for is people to put their feet to the side for more stability. Sure. Or on slight hillsides, you can put your feet, and as the mower goes on its side, you can maintain a straight up and down sure. stance. Makes sense. And ability to steer behind this. Uh, lean pad is a 10 and a half gallon gas tank. Okay. This comes off very easily. I like easy uh, accessible <clears throat> uh, features to mowers because we're always having to work on them, right? So the great thing about this mower is you're able to, here, let me pull it all the way out. There you go. You're able to drop this down, four bolts. You're able to drop the gas tank okay. out onto the platform okay. to get to the back of the engine and the hydros. Hmm. So this all just uh, can get pushed right out and just taken out if you need to access anything in there? Yeah, and actually the gas tank, will it can just lay right down. Oh, wow. So you can get in. So you're not actually disconnecting it. Okay. You're just laying it down. Oh, okay. And then you can push it back up without having to worry about spilling gas or anything like that. So this is the gas tank? This is the gas tank. Cool. Ten and a half gallons. Gotcha. Um, so you've got a full all-day mow with that. I'm going to shoot you straight right now. Do we got a gas gauge anywhere? We got a gas meter? We don't, it's all visual. We've got a graduated gas gauge on the back. All right. So you have one eighth, one quarter, half, three quarters, and full. Gotcha. So visually, you can you're, check. Able to, you're able to monitor that as you get on the mower. That's true. And in the front, you're able to monitor the hydraulic, the hydro fluid. Oh, look at that. So you have a visual there. Okay. So what we have found in some um, applications is that mechanical or electronic fuel gauges sometimes aren't as accurate aren't as accurate oh. if the way we've designed this or the Toro's designed this is that we have a full visual on both items so it's as easy as just looking at it to make sure that you're running safe on your hydros and you're not going to run out of fuel so these are 10 cc unitized pumps okay fuel motors they are tough torque transmissions sure so the great thing about these unitized transmissions is that there are no there's very few leak points there's no hoses to leak um, and they're very tough and durable. Okay. We've borrowed this technology and these hydros from some of our golf equipment okay. and put it into practice on this mower. The efforts of the, the redesign has been you know, overwhelmingly successful. I mean, people are really happy with yeah. the durability and um, power of this machine. You, you were saying they're a little beefier than usual what you see out there. Yeah, I mean, the, a lot of people are running 3,400 hydros, which are, you know, they're all good hydros. Sure. Um, but this is just kind of, an elevation up. okay because this machine um is obviously going to have some capabilities outside of just mowing grass uh, they wanted to make sure that we have very durable transmissions on this and the grandstand regular sure still has those same transmissions so okay. we're keeping everything kind of the same so if you're using grandstands in your current application and you go to a grandstand multi-force because you like the capabilities of it sure you're not getting any sort of difference in drive it's right. very uniform very much the same in uniform that's good um cool. height the deck or uh height the cut handle here um one of the cool things about this is in during the redesign we have mounted the engine to the frame and yes. we are no longer lifting the deck and the engine at the same time okay so as you notice the deck will go down um we've got a helper spring right there all right and so on the way up much easier than uh, lifting the engine as well. That's that's a clutch little point because I was demoing my friend Alex Leica's uh, Vantage on a previous video, and I think you had seen that one we we're talking about. Yeah. And yep. the engine was mounted on the deck. If that wasn't heavy enough, now you have a you know weighing a, a big block engine over here. Exactly. And so that's that's a that's a game changer. So, so height the cut starts at one and a half up to five and quarter inch increments. We've got a keyed um, height the cut pin. Gotcha. 
is pretty standard. Okay. Drops down, so it's captured. What do we got on the sizes for the tires again? Uh, 20 by 10 and a half by eight. Okay. And then we have run flats in the front. Gotcha. Let me show you this really quick. Uh, right here, um, this is not metal on metal. This is uh, bushing. Okay. Inside, so as the deck is the deck is going to move. Okay. Um, the deck is going to move. That's going to absorb the shock, and it's going to prevent and help to keep from that being rounded out and affecting uh, your height to cut adjustments. Gotcha. So that's been added. The other thing I wanted to talk about was speed of the machine. This machine will run at 10 miles an hour. Okay. And does have the ability to be governed at eight and a half. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm not going to recommend anybody mow at eight and a half right. or uh, 10 miles an hour. Sure. Obviously, the better the quality of cut, you're going to want to mow a little bit slower than that. But transport speed, you're at 10 miles an hour for that. Sure, sure. Uh, what uh, What about the engine, uh, the horsepower? I think you said this is different. It's upgraded, yep. beefier so on the multi-force. Multi-force, we're, we're at a 26 and a half horse Cooler Command Pro EFI. Okay. Um, you're gonna. The EFIs are really great just for fuel savings. Okay. Yep. Um, I love my. Uh, I got a cooler on my Z right now. So we've been told up to 25 percent, and people that have purchased uh, these machines have absolutely said. Sure. It's 25 percent fuel savings. No. No. Do we have other engine options on the multi force here, or uh, do we just have the Kohler? No, the Kohler EFIs on both the 52 and the 60. That's due to uh, obviously it's going to be used in cold weather, so for starting capability, sure. it's going to be nicer with the EFI. Sure. On the grandstands, we do have Kohler EFIs for that. We also have um, Kawasaki carbureted. Okay. So there's a, a plethora of different options in that beautiful in that lineup. Gotcha, gotcha. No, this is uh, this is sharp. This is a cool. So we have this unit configured for mowing, obviously. Yep. Here in uh, you know later part of June. Now, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, which was the, one of the cooler upselling points or reasons for this whole unit, and just uh, we're just gonna gloss over this, just kind of because long story short, Rob and I might be do, uh, doing some more videos come fall, and I'm curious if you guys want to see the other attachments. We were talking about the uh, the turbo force blower, the uh, there's a, a power broom, there's a plow, uh, there's so many options and upgrades available. With with this unit so if you guys want to see that leave me a comment down below because this is a newer unit and i don't think there's honestly a lot of video out there it'll definitely not from uh youtube side there's a lot of stuff from toro uh and their youtube channel they got a great youtube channel uh what's the other guy's name that does all the videos chris you're saying i believe so chris uh, there, uh, whatever guy that is he's really knowledgeable does great videos so if you guys want to learn more about toro's units you can always check out toro's youtube channel obviously they got a big company big youtube channel but let's talk about if you want to just cover maybe the, the elevator speech the bullet points yeah if uh, if you want about the other attachments because that's what really separates the multi-force apart from pretty much any other unit out there yeah absolutely so this machine really here is and i know there's people out there that have maybe run grandstands or seen grandstands and they're going to say you know why why this machine and, and why why have these other attachments i've sure, got sure i've got an atv with the plow on it or i have uh, a ride on uh turbine blower that's dedicated just for blowing leaves sure the great thing about this machine is the fact that you're able to make a capital investment and you're able to buy attachments for it that allows this machine to be used based on your circumstances almost all year round. Sure. Um, you're able to keep the machine running. This has got a five year, 1200 hour uh, commercial warranty on it. Okay. So the longevity is built in. We're going to have uh, 8500 CFM uh, turbine blower. Okay. So the Pro Force uh, turbine blower is going to mount to the front of it everything is easy attach as well okay so um the great thing about this like i said is the ability to number one make an investment and reap your return on investment all year round as opposed to parking it in the garage or in the trailer sure and going with another dedicated piece of piece of machinery to do the job right uh, makes sense the other great thing about this machine is that when the you're able to fit three of these in the same area that you're able to fit two average z's so now if you have a truck and a trailer that you're able to fit two Z's on, now you can put one person extra in the cab. Sure. You can bring three machines. You can knock things out quicker. Sure. Or you can bring two machines and one of these with a turbine blower or a plow or a broom on it. Right. And you're able to, um, you're able to really maximize your investment and mm -hmm. maximize the effectiveness of your manpower. That is that is clutch. I mean, obviously the longer we can keep the, the units moving and whether it's in spring, fall or summer or, or winter, that, that's just gonna help us make these monthly payments, keep them unit Absolutely. moving, keep our employees working and moving, which is it's, always a plus. It's generating income for you while you're paying for it as opposed to some other things that are not generating income right. for you. For, for a fraction of the investment too. 
Honestly, it's, it's cheaper to buy attachments sometimes Absolutely. than it is to buy other dedicated units. Absolutely. So kind of like our multi-tool, you know, with our steels and echoes, right? Exactly. Um, now, one question that I have, or we kind of talked about this a little bit, but so people know, is that we do not have all the hydraulics necessarily set up yet on no. this unit. Uh, this we're machine gonna, We're going to get it outfitted, retroed, uh, fitted with it here come uh, late yes. summer, and then we're going to be doing some more videos. But maybe talk uh, just real quick with the hydraulics, because folks want to know how the RAM works probably, yep. where the hydraulics are. That's just some, uh, some stuff that I had questions yep, on. Absolutely. So we have a five foot boss snow plow, 55 inch power broom, turbine blower that's coming, and then we also have a bagger for this unit. But the hydraulics, low flow hydraulics mount on the left hand side of the machine. Okay. Low flow hydraulics are utilized for all of the attachments that we have minus the bagger. Okay. So the low flow hydraulics articulate up and down and left and right on the plow. Okay. They do the same thing on the power broom, mm -hmm. left and right, up and down. And then on the turbine blower, it will be the actuator for the nozzle. So we have a 360 degree nozzle yeah. turn. You'll be able to operate that with the hydraulics. Control panel for the hydraulics is up here. It's a two part switch, one this way and one that way. Okay. This will be outfitted with um, the hydraulics for that in August. Okay. And then on this side of the machine, will be the high flow hydraulics. And that's for the power broom, right? That's for the power broom. And because um, that's gonna, that spins the whole unit. The high flow hydraulics spins the unit. Um, and there has been talk and I haven't um, heard anything um, lately, but the the intention is to have a snow thrower for the front of this as well. That sounds good to me. Which we're assuming that the, that the high flow hydraulics would be the one to operate that auger. I'm, I'm, dude, I, so here, check this out, guys. I, if Rob is uh, interested in coming back out in the winter, maybe we can do some <laughs> demos, right? We'll throw all of our snow gear on and uh, we'll, we'll do some uh, tests for you guys with the leaves, with the blower, uh, the plow, and uh, the, maybe a snow blower. We'll see what's out there. Cause you know, a lot of you guys have uh, larger properties and golf course properties and uh, different uh, HOAs that you manage. And you know, not every one tool fits every job, but if you have a great base like this, I could see very simply, if you're a big Toro fan, you got a Toro dealers and, and uh, you know, Toro has been around for a long time. They make great product. A lot of you guys uh, are big fans of the Toros. This is the kind of unit that I feel could just really uh, enhance your whole fleet Absolutely. by just having one tool for doing a majority of jobs and you can keep it working longer. I think that's a very uh, unique part of uh, the, the Grand Sam Multiforce. Um, that, that's really cool. I, I appreciate all the details and stats. You got any uh, wrap up thoughts or uh, bullet points you want to make? Thought. Um, the low flow hydraulics can stay mounted on the machine year round. Okay. Um, the deck has to come off yep. to operate the implements for uh, safety and weight. Okay. The hydraulic ram fits on this. This allows, this pivots up and down. Okay. And it's a two inch receiver, just kind of like what you have on a truck. Yep. And that's what uh, holds the quick connect system for all of the attachments. Okay. And all the hydraulics are quick connect. Sure. I think it's a great machine. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but um, <laughs> well, you should be, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, honestly, we wouldn't be doing this video and this demo if uh, half the folks didn't uh, uh, request it because I wanted to say a special uh, shout out to Andy's uh, Lawn and Landscape and Cutting Adventures, whatever his YouTube is. He's like a 13 year old kid out there, man, and uh, he told me specifically I got to go demo the Multiforce. That's awesome. Uh, so, so shout out to Andy. I think he's a young, a little entrepreneur in training. I'll call it over in like Chicago Land area. He's got a little YouTube channel. I actually plug it at the end of this video because he's 13 he's kicking butt and he said i gotta try it i can't pull the trigger buy anything rob he said i can't buy anything until i try the grandstand i don't blame him so he's a, he's a smart little dude and uh so i really appreciate this so um any other thoughts you got anything everything's pretty straightforward no i just uh i just want to thank you for your time brian and yeah yeah i uh, can't wait to see what you think of the machine and for sure and then we'll uh we'll get it outfitted with the plow and the uh, turbine blower and go yep. from there. We'll be doing some more videos. So, all right, guys. So, uh, I'll have this uh, unit for a couple days here to demo. I'm super excited about that. We'll be laying stripes. So, uh, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. That's where you get the latest and greatest and the real time stuff. YouTube takes time, I always say, but Instagram is pretty live. So, Brian's Law Maintenance on YouTube. Uh, but beyond all that, I really wanted to say a big thank you to a couple of folks here. Number one, to Rob. He's taking time. Uh, his uh, kids at Little League right now. So, literally, he's sacrificing this for you guys and for me. So, let's all say thanks, Rob. Uh, number two, want to say a big out and thank you to Toro for uh, for all this and just making a great unit and lining this all up as well. And then uh, Spartan Distributors, who these guys are through. It takes a lot of time and resources, guys, so to, to put videos like this together. So if you really enjoy it, you guys already know the sign off, but do definitely hit it a big thumbs up and, and like this video. We really appreciate that. It means a lot. And uh, if you guys are new to this whole uh, lawn care channel and everything that we got going on with demo and mowers, make sure you guys uh, smash that subscribe button because we're going to be doing so many more videos, so many more testing. And basically, my goal here is to help you guys with learning stages 
stand out in lawnmowers, the latest and greatest in the lawn and landscape industry, honestly. And just bring you guys uh, some fun, entertaining videos to help you guys with making investments and buying decisions when it comes to larger ticket items and even smaller ticket items. So, all right, that's it, guys. This is it from me. Rob, thanks again, brother. Thank you, sir. We'll do the awkward uh, handshake right. on camera, right? Because I got to use the both hands and I only have one, right? So, all right, guys, over and out. Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Appreciate you guys big time. We will catch up with you on the next one. Bye-bye.